Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, today I want to do a video on de-sync your audio. Now, we're going to be using Resolve uh, for this, but this pretty much applies to Final Cut, Premiere Pro, uh, whatever other you know video editing software you use that can use VSD plugins. And the reason I'm making this tutorial is because, let's be honest, there are a lot of very popular YouTube channels out there that just don't <laughs> DS their audio and their S sounds, their sibilance is just so annoyingly piercing that many of us just simply will not watch them. Now, I don't know why they don't DS the audio. Maybe they're not using proper, you know, equipment to monitor the audios. Like I'm using AKG K612 Pros, which are very affordable and are good reference headphones. Now, there are other other great headphones out there for monitoring also uh fuck the sennheiser dt 77 yeah the 770s and the uh, 990s also two very popular headphones and with those you, you he easily hear the semblance the ear piercing s sounds that uh that just really hurt your ears so that's why i'm making this video because i really want to get this information out to youtubers that you don't have to pay money to ds your audio I'm going to show you how to use TDR Nova, the free version, to DS your audio and make your, uh, and tame down those S sounds, and make them sound more pleasant than you uh, otherwise would non ds But before we get started, check out this awesome product from A Shampoo. A Shampoo Win Optimizer 18 is a system optimization suite that takes care of the weak spots in every Windows machine. The program boosts performance, fixes system errors, and reduces file clutter. Don't miss my demo review of Win Optimizer 18. Plus, learn more and download your free trial by clicking the links in the description below. Okay, everybody. Well, I already have an audio clip opened up here in DaVinci Resolve. Like I said, this applies to Premiere Pro, Final Cut also or any other video editing software you can use a VSD plugin. Now here is some audio that I actually have uh, put in here and I really don't have anything, just got it compressed a little bit, what you'd normally expect. And you know, a little uh, expander put on there just to kind of let you uh, hear the audio a little bit better and let you be able to hear those S sounds a little bit better. So let me play this clip and you can hear, this is me talking and it is uh, ear piercing sibilance sibilance end sibilance test this is a sibilance test sally sells seashells on the seashore sibilance sibilance sally sells seashells on the seashore c c okay i don't think i really have the worst i'm not the worst offender when it comes to sibilance problems but this is something we all have. It's just naturally the way we speak. Uh, so the opposite of a uh, sibilance, something being too strong, that would be a lisp. And so we want to get our audio sounding better, but we don't want to get also don't want it to sound like we have a lisp. Since a lisp is the opposite of having a too much s sounds in your audio. So let's play this a little more time. Seashells, seashells, sibilance. Sibilance. End sibilance test. Okay, here we go. Let me now pull up TDR Nova. Now, like I said, I am using the free version here. So you do not have to go out and uh, buy the Gentleman's Edition. I personally do own the Gentleman's Edition because I think it's a fantastic plugin. However, the, like I said, you can do this in the free version. Okay. So, the first thing we need to do is turn on TDR Nova. And go over here to our scopes. We have in, out, uh, SC, and off. And make sure in is checked. That way you can see your audio on the screen like we're showing this here. This is a sibilance test. Sally sells seashells on the seashore. Sibilance. All right, so now you can see on the audio scope here the waveform and everything. Wonderful. So we need to turn off. Like I said, the uh, free version has four of them. Let's turn off everything but one of them and just click on four here. Now, we want to find that S sound that's annoying us. So, first thing I want to do is pull up a Q value of, let's say, four. And I recommend a Q value anywhere between, say, three 
or even like two and a half to three up to like a five. I don't really recommend going no lower than that because I'll show you why. Let me set my threshold also to negative 25 here, which is what we're going to be using it for. All right. And this will let, uh, let you see the Q value. As you see, it, the higher the number, the tighter it is. So you, up to six is pretty decent. I wouldn't go no lower than three for DSing. Like I said, four is what we're going to start out on right here. Let me dial in four. There, 4.01 is close enough. And we need to find that. So this audio is going to get kind of quiet a little bit. So we're going to do band solo. And band solo is really important because it will help us find that issue. So let's click on that. As you can see, now that I got these yellow lines drop down. This is going to let us find that S sound and help get rid of it. So let's play this clip. Sibilance. Sally sells seashells on the seashore. Okay. Let's move this right now. It's at 6,000 uh, kilohertz. Well, 6 kilohertz. Let's move it on up till we find it. This is a sibilance test. Sally sells seashells on the seashore. Starting here, you can hear it. Listen for that uh, most uh, the ear piercing sound, the most annoying. Okay, I think about 8.8 .8 kilohertz is what I'm hearing the most. And that to me, that's where the most piercing sound is coming from. So now that we got that dialed in to 8.8, .8, let's uh, click on band solo and turn that off. And let's now uh, play this back. This is a sibilance test. Sally sells seashells on the seashore. Sibilance. Sibilance. This is with the essing. Sell seashells on the seashore. And I'm turning it off. C. C. Seashells. Seashells. Sibilance. Sibilance. And I'm turn it back on. Sibilance test. This is a sibilance test. Sally sells seashells on the seashore. And turn it off. Sibilance. Sibilance. Sally sells seashells on the seashore. And back on. C. Iron and stop. As you can tell, that really, really does help cut out a lot of that hard S sounds. Okay. Now, we can also use the ratio to get more, get rid of more of it or decrease it. Let's play this back and I'll lower and raise the ratio so you can hear the difference how the audio sounds. C. Seashells. Seashells. Sibilance. Sibilance. End sibilance test. To me, 2.5 sounds this the is best. A sibilance test. Sally sells seashells on the seashore. Sibilance. Sibilance. Sally sells seashells on the seashore. And that's with C expanded C out. C you can tell it's really seashells. bad. Seashells. Sibilance. Sibilance. It's going up. End sibilance test. This is a sibilance test. Sally sells seashells on the seashore. Sibilance. Sibilance. Sally sells seashells on the seashore. It's off. C. C. Seashells. On. Seashells. Sibilance. Sibilance. End. Okay. So, yeah. That's pretty easy. Now, as far as the attack release, the default to 10 milliseconds, 150 milliseconds, is perfectly fine for a DSing. And to me, it actually sounds pretty decent. So you can adjust if your audio, for example, your, you can adjust that Q value down. If you got like a very narrow band that's causing your S sound problems, widen on up to, say, three, because remember, the lower the number, the wider. Say, three would be really good. If you, uh, but I wouldn't go to wider than three because it'll start to cut out all your, uh, your you know, clarity and stuff in your voice. So if you want to narrow it down, say like five to get really close on that uh s sound and just eliminate just that part then i highly recommend you do it but like i said for basic settings uh four uh four to one for the q value threshold of negative 25 ratio about two and a half to one you can raise or lower depending on how much you too much ratio you'll start to get a lisp and reduce that you actually get makes your sibilance worse as i've shown 
But that's the settings I would use. As far as frequency goes, you have to hunt it down and find out what works for you. Most females will have a higher frequency, so to be on upper upper ends. Most males may have a lower one. I actually have one, say, about 8.8 kilohertz here for this particular audio clip. But, yeah, this is what I actually do to DS my audio uh, like you're hearing right now. And to me, it works and sounds great, and I highly recommend it. And the best part is, like I said, TDR Nova is completely free. Okay, everyone. Well, I've hoped you enjoyed this little tutorial. Hope you found it very helpful. Like I said, I made this video because there are a lot of really good content creators out there that just don't DS their audio, and I just can't watch their videos because it hurts. <laughs> so this is a basically a plea from me to other YouTube creators or other platforms, even streaming. Of course, if you want to know how to get your audio sound really good in streaming, check out the cards. I got a great video for OBS. I highly recommend you check it out. It's been very popular for a lot of people watching it. But as far as like uh, making videos for like YouTube and Vimeo or whatever, and you try to get the best audio quality, then I highly recommend uh, you know check doing this to DS your audio because this is one huge step that highly highly improves your audio quality. But anyway, that's it for this video. One, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up is always highly appreciated. Now, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please take the time to subscribe. Subscribing's free. It's for you. I'll let you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everyone, thank you for watching.